everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The winding road to the Super Bowl continues here in the divisional round, where two teams look to take another step towards the Super Bowl. It's the Ravens going up against the Bills. With that, let's send you up to Snowy Orchard Park outside of Buffalo, where we say hello to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen, stay warm. All right, we appreciate it, Larry. It's our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round and it's funny depending on which team you are you say that that's an advantage you'll take the rest you'll take the week off get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go but that team that's coming in off of a win last week they're really excited to keep playing they feel like they are hot and ready to go For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. This one fielded at the five. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. To him right up the gun. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And a lot of the weight of this offense falls on the shoulders of the running back. That's because the offense knows if they give him any openings, any opportunities, he can turn it into a big play at any time. Second down following the run. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, there they went blitz defensively, Charles, and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position. I love the way that you described it, paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's going to get all the credit. But his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged on jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps. And that play finished off really, really well. Well-conceived, well-designed, and even better executed. So now the Ravens getting ready for their first go on offense. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And to give this time to the tailback. 
No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And it's possible that today the most important group could be the linebackers. Yeah, the second level, as we like to call them, right? Defensive front has to control things, but the linebackers, they do more than clean up. They help create big plays. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down. Let's go. Let's go. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. 12 yards there as they move the chains. We heard them talk before the game about utilizing the intermediate passing game this week. It works for them there. They move the chains. And we saw them work on it in practice as well. And most teams take a period at a time to work on different... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. He'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. Third down and 12. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Finding time. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. He'll give it to him right up the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. On offense, a guy that you want to have the best eyes on the field are your quarterback. So you can see everything pre-snap, and then, of course, as a play develops. On defense, oftentimes it's the linebacker. And on this play, his eyes took him right to the ball, and he made a nice tackle. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. They'll drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Now the Bills' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called, and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the linebacking core could certainly be crucial today. They do everything really, really well. Fly to the football, defend the pass, you name it, they do it, as well as set the defensive front. They'll come out in the pistol. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Gone an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. 
And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They come out here in the eye. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. And they'll go on the ground. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. To me, that's a superior play by the backer because he was allowed to, I think, run free on it and make that play. His defensive linemen, they covered things down for him because offensive guys, the linemen, what they're trying to do, as you know, is block the guy at the point of attack and then climb to the next level and get the linebacker. And you're not allowed to climb. You got a free hitter, and that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them. So the offense has it first and 10. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They come out here in the eye. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Here's the Bills' defense now as they head out to defend here. They forced the punt the last time, got off the field. I'm, I'm sure some of your D coordinators through the years, you, you liked when you heard those words, get off the field. Oh, there's no doubt or maybe about you didn't it. like it when you heard those words. <laughs> it depended on when they were yelling them. But in this situation, absolutely perfect. Get off the field, force a punt, let the offense take over and do their thing and it resulted in a field goal. Now we'll see if they can do that again. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. How about the defensive lineman? That's where a good run defense begins, with the guys up front. When they hold the line, hold the point of attack, that allows everyone else to get there and make tackles. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. They're going to look to throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. 
That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Extra DB on the field for the Bills here on third down. Yeah, maybe thinking pass. They'll set up to throw. to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. The Ravens send their putter out now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 20. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Out comes the Ravens defense now as they get ready for the next possession. And they got to be feeling good about forcing that long missed field goal the last go around. And you know what upsets a kicker more than anything? Is missing a kick they think they can make and feeling like the other side believes that they had something to do with it. And it doesn't matter to those guys on defense. I know they're taking full credit. Yep, we forced them into the miss and they're going to ride that confidence the rest of the way. We'll see if the kicker's able to get his confidence back as well. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This guy carrying the ball, your eyes are going to direct your feet, and you're hoping they carry you to the open spaces. But it's awfully difficult at times because you have so many things you have to look out for. Where's the line blocking? Where's the traffic coming from? Tough to find open spots. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So third and medium here, third and five. Let's go! Back to throw. He's got time. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he one of the bigger targets on the field. The tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. They'll run it now out of the gun. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Play the quarter here in this AFC Divisional Playoff. Nothing, nothing, our score. And we're back to upstate New York after this. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. They've got it second and six to start things out. to throw. Firing quickly here and that's complete. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them and they run that quick cut on the slant and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. They come out here in the eye. And he'll give it here to his running back. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Yeah, 
Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. He'll look to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Second and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them. If you're going to run the football, if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. And they might think about going for it here, but it's still just the second quarter. Take the three points, tell the defense you believe in them, and let them get the ball back for you. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. And we were scoreless up until this point in the second quarter. Now we finally have a little action. Let's see where this action takes us. First quarter, no points at all. Now we've got our first score of the game. Well, does that signal that we're going to get more as we go along, or will it revert back to what we saw in the beginning of the game? This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Return team. First down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. That was a good, strong run there. And while it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. A positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. Second down following the run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. So it'll be first down here after the run. handoff as they run the counter play. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Partner, what's the old expression? Run to daylight? This guy runs to contact. Broke through on that play. Go, 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 go. 
So this brings up a second and two. And to give this time to the tailback. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I bet there's just a big sigh of relief now, having finally gotten a first down running the football. They've struggled all game long. The defense has had their number. This may help their confidence moving forward. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Partner we're into the second quarter, and I guess you can kind of look at it both ways. The offense, they've got to figure out what they're going to do because they haven't scored any points. But if you're the defense, you're feeling great about what you've got going on. The only concern you have, if you get to the half, what adjustments will the offense make to try to defeat you? So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? He maybe gets back to the line. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner, protecting his side of the field. Oh, that reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain, they would not let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And the Bills getting set to go. And they had three points last time. But they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super toe. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Really good, solid run right there, and they did it from a four-wide receiver set. And if you're an offensive coordinator, they used to tell people, hey, we're going to throw the football. Now they use four receivers on the field to spread things out, 
give them more running lanes and more options. And also, it usually takes the bigger defenders off the field, makes the defense lighter and easier to run against. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. He lost two there, and it's third down. Now they were going draw play there. The defense wasn't fooled. They sniffed it out. I think they're going to have to go back and take a few more acting classes because that's what a lot of that is. You've got to influence them to think that it's going to be a pass play and have them drop out and maybe the defensive front coming forward and find yourself some space. In this case, no one was fooled and ended up spilling that play pretty well. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Pulled in at the 24. Oh, he shifts past him. So a minute 55 to go in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. It's not just the offensive linemen and the guys charged with protecting him that take it personally. When the franchise quarterback is dropped on the ground, it runs through the whole organization from the owner all the way down. It's like every single time he goes down, everyone holds their breath. Not only do they hold their breath, but they feel the hit as well. They're just trying to think of ways for it not to happen again. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. The offense didn't pick up the first down there, but they're not going to go to the bench discouraged. They feel like they're starting to set the defense up a little bit, looking for the big play as this game progresses. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Surveying the field. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And the offense lining up first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch.
three yards to go on second down. to throw again. He's got his man on the crossing round. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. All week long as a defense, you game plan to stop this guy as a runner. And then when they start sneaking him out of the backfield and throwing it to him, that totally disrupts what you plan to do in the game. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. A little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead. Now that's got to feel good, but they can't let up. Now on the kickoff, they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 yard line. Face mask penalty, and Charles, you were a defender. You know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's hard to keep your hands away from that face mask. Sometimes you just get out of position as a defender when you're trying to make a tackle, so you end up flailing away, and your hand gets into the wrong spot. All right, here we go. Three, 19, five. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. They'll throw now on the final play. His throw incomplete. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. It's been a tightly contested playoff game, and it's fair to say both are playing smart football. Neither team has turned the football over, and so it may come down to who makes that one costly mistake. All right, let's roll those highlights. Third down from inside the 40 to once again sack the QB. This ends up as a loss of nine. Builds with the football final seconds of the half. The pass will be completed on the slant, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to their own 46-yard line. But they end up coming away with just three on the drive. So that's all for us here at the EA Sports Studio.